I'm hyped about today's show. I'm hyped. First of all, I saw college football. I saw USC this weekend. I saw Notre Dame this weekend. I saw Alabama this weekend. And, of course, I saw the Georgia Bulldogs, okay? Not so much high on Clemson right now. But there's a lot of college football I could get into, except I got distracted. I got distracted. And guess what? It wasn't about politics. It wasn't about the NFL. It wasn't even about the NBA, okay? I got distracted by women's NBA basketball, as in the WNBA, because that girl, Caitlin Clark, Lord have mercy. She busting people, you know what? She, she, she busting people, you know what? Y'all didn't think that I was just going to let that slide after all the noise and the chirping that was in my ear over supporting this young lady, did you? Oh, if you thought I had something to say before, wait until you hear me speak now. The Stephen A. Smith Show in the house. Holla at your boy about the lady. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the latest edition of the Stephen A. Smith Show, coming at you over the digital airwaves of YouTube and, of course, iHeartRadio. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful Labor Day weekend. I hope you're going to enjoy this Labor Day. I know I'm enjoying it. One of the biggest reasons is that my subscribers, my followers, have now eclipsed 772,000 over the digital airwaves of YouTube. Can't thank y'all enough for the love and support. And, of course, we've eclipsed over 2.5 million downloads over iHeartRadio over the last couple of months as well. The love and the support keeps on coming keeps on growing this show is nothing without y'all i thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart i'm just getting more and more hype more and more energized more and more fervish about doing this show on an everyday basis one i own and operate and so obviously it's near and dear to my heart can't thank y'all enough for the love and support keep it coming and i'm gonna keep on coming i got a lot of stuff to get into but the first order of business is to get started with the wnba where the league is making headlines like never before in its 27 year history there have been three players this season who've been box office we know about asia wilson okay let's get that out the way two-time mvp of the las vegas aces the best player in the world right now she's about to set a single season points per game scoring record averaging 27 and a half points y'all surpassing diana tarasi 25.3 points per game set back in 2006 that's one person the others you know the names angel reese the chicago sky forward just set the league record for the most rebounds in a season, surpassing a mark set by Sylvia Fowles in 2018. Reese broke the record in just 32 games, so give her her love and support. And last but not least is, of course, Caitlin Clark, who just led the Indiana Fever to an above 500 record for the first time in five years. By the way, she's the second leading scorer at 23.4 points per game over the last 12 games. The Indiana Fever owned the WNBA record for most consecutive games under 500, by the way, with 189 until recently, of course, the other day. Now the team is setting WNBA attendance records with over 500,000 fans over their first 33 games this season. Some have compared Caitlin Clark to Tiger Woods and how she's revolutionized fan engagement in women's basketball. Overall attendance, in case you missed it, is up by 20%, breaking TV viewership ratings and merchandise sales. Either way you slice it, it's clear that we're witnessing a golden era in the sport. Caitlin Clark, what I tell y'all? What I tell y'all? Now, I understand there's a whole bunch of people that's balling. How about Custody Mitchell, a teammate, who is just flat out balling? You see what the Aces is doing, right? See, Kels, you, you, you just see this. Plum and the rest of the crew in Las Vegas can't ignore them. I'm looking at the New York Liberty. I'm looking at the you know, Minnesota Lynx. I'm looking at the Connecticut Sun. I'm looking at Seattle. I'm looking at all of these teams. But they ain't the story. Look, we appreciate what they bring to the table, and we appreciate their greatness, and we appreciate what they're giving the fans. But we just have to understand that when a transformational figure